Episode of We Are Seven the Show. We got the homies Kai and Matt. How y'all doing? Good, how are you? Uh, I'm doing good, man. How y'all, uh, y'all been filming lately? Uh, for me, I really just been doing football right now. Uh, how you like doing football? I'm going to be honest, it's not all. I don't really like it that much. I don't really like filming outside for real, for real. Um, mosquitoes on me killing. Of course. And the gnats. <laughs> especially when it started getting dark. And see, right now it's cool because it's kind of warm outside. But you know, football season. Running to when it start getting mm-hmm. a little chilly outside, so that be in a way. Um, but it get it get good views though, um, because not a lot of people film football for real for around here. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, I know. Probably just you and Shaw for yep. real, and then Andrew did run that right Yeah, there. it just depend on the player for him though. For me, <laughs> I don't really care who I, it is. I talk to him about that all the time. Yeah, he ain't just gonna go film anybody. <laughs> But, so what's the main what's the main thing we focus on in football? Um, and I won't even say it's people per se. Maury, um, I used to go to Maury, so most of the time, whenever it don't matter what sport it is, I'm always gonna support Maury. Um, and then it's just close to home for me. Um, so you pretty Smith much. Yet? Nah, I do plan on doing the Smith game, and then I do a little with uh Bishop or well, Catholic High School Catholic. now. They're not Bishop no more. <laughs> so yeah, I do a little bit with Catholic. Um, but pretty much just Maury. Um, so best football team right here right now in my personal opinion. Oh, they got the beast player. I don't know the name. Uh, Keandre. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he he's solid. He's yeah. solid. <laughs> How you been doing? Uh, good. I haven't been throwing anything lately. Yeah, I might so working. Yeah, working, chilling. <laughs> I might do some fall league. Maybe. Yeah, that's maybe try that's football. You gonna try football? I might try football. I mean, yeah, Rivers, Rivers, you usually got a good team. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, they saw I know you did Rivers a lot last year. Mm-hmm. They saw it too. Um, they got Lamar on. I don't yeah. really know nobody else that go there other than him, but I would go just off of the strength of him alone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I want to do. Anyway. Yes, I would go. How did you how did you learn how did you uh, meet Frank? Like how did you start filming for Frank? Off filming with Tank Athletics. I saw <laughs> I saw a post with his name tagged on on Facebook. I mean, we went to high school together. Okay. He was a few years older than me. Um, and then it just kind of, I had no idea what I was doing at the beginning. Mm-hmm. And then I would edit on my phone and then did it, just then turned into doing stuff on my laptop. Mm-hmm. And then just kind of playing with stuff and figuring stuff out. Mm. And so, so you learned, you knew him in high school, mm-hmm. you went to the same school, school River? Yeah. When did you, when did you, why did you start filming? Um, I've always been in the sports. I played sports, um, a you little bit. You played Huh? Yeah, you should probably get dusted. I mean, we weren't that bad. I, I, put, no, I played JV and I got hurt um, mm-hmm. that first year. And after that, I kind of stopped playing after that. I won't feel it no you more. You tore your ACL? Uh-huh. Every and then, girl tennis, I'm man. weak. And for me, like, after that happened, like, I felt like I just won't play the same. And, you mm-hmm. know, once I felt like I won't be the best at it, yeah. or at least my best, I won't try to do it no more. I won't probably go out there and embarrass myself. That's how I was in college. Like, I didn't get burned my freshman year, and I felt like I shouldn't be in burn. And I was paying to go there, and I was just like, and we was losing. Yeah. I was like, I ain't going to the NBA for no D3. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and I, some point you just got to like, accept it. I'm good, I'm yeah. good. Yeah, you just got to accept it. So, uh, yeah, from doing that, uh, from playing, I just wanted to, like, figure out a way that I could still, like, kind of be in it. And I, I remember watching a YouTube video. It was a home team hoops uh, video on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And I was like, dang, that's, that's kind of dope. I might want to try to do that. So then I just got my camera. I got a camera. And I just started going to games. Uh, didn't really know nothing about nothing at that point. <laughs> I was just going out there and just acting like I was supposed to be there. <laughs> hey, did you uh, like have to, what did you say when you tried to get in the games? Did you just say you was media or did you pay first? So yeah, in the beginning I was just paying. Mm-hmm. And then until I started seeing like other people like on baseline, I feel like I met Drew at a, um, a Norcom game back when Travis Fields and Travis Ingram was playing mm-hmm. and I was talking to him a little bit so after I talked to him that's when I just start okay I'm just gonna start telling people our media <laughs> uh-huh. and then just see what happened. Yeah. How'd you start? Did you, was you paying to get in the game first? I paid for every single game <laughs> <in> my first <laughs> year and then that's like, I think I saw you on the baseline I was like he had some kind of pass so then I started talking to you and 
So you probably came around like my second year when I got the pass, but yeah. What Matt Hatfield gave me the email to get the passes. And then I was like, I ain't paying for no more. Absolutely yeah. not. <laughs> Absolutely not. I was like, if they don't want me to be here, I have no problem leaving. Now I try to go. Now I try to go early to the game. So if I don't get in, I can make another. Game. Exactly. Yeah, that makes I, sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, because some people trip. Some people cool about it. Some people not. It just depends on who working the uh, gate at that point. And it'd be crazy because the people to be it'd be the ads with the biggest baseline don't want you. Yep. Yeah. I'm not in nobody way. <laughs> I'm not bothering nobody. Yeah, but I, I have you ever seen like an Oak Hill game? They be damn near yep. stepping on the it's court. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I, I think they're like, just not immune. They not. They don't know about social media. And see, that's that. exactly what I think it is. I feel like for them, they don't really know as much about like how big like these videos is and like filming these kids and till they like really see it. But a lot of them, I feel like they be trying to keep stuff in house all the time. Mm -hmm. It's like they don't want nobody else to like benefit from their stuff. Mm -hmm. And then they trip about it. Yeah. But I be like, a lot of them teams don't be good. Exactly. Like they, it, how many elite players were in this area last year? I mean, like obviously it was probably like a handful. Yeah, it was a handful. Yeah. It's probably about like a handful. Barely that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Barely that. It's it's basically it's almost the same amount of elite girls, maybe even more, that is just as good as the boys. Yeah. I absolutely agree. And the girls actually got grades to yeah. go to exactly, school. Exactly, yeah. because that is the issue with a lot of the guys around here, for real. I don't know why that is. Yeah. Why y'all um, think that is? Honestly, I feel like because they put so much emphasis on sports for these guys that they feel like if I can do this, I don't got to worry about the rest of the stuff because yeah. it's people out here with 1.5s, 1.8s. And last time I checked, you had to have, I don't know if it's a 2 or a 2.5, but one of those to play a sport in general. Mm -hmm. But it's guys with 1.8s, 1.5s, and they still letting them play. And then if you're going to let them do it, they're going to keep doing it. Like, mm -hmm. why am I going to try when I know that you're going to let me go just by doing the minimum? Yeah. So like ain't nobody putting that pressure on them and then when they get their twelfth grade year and they trying to find somewhere to go, don't nobody want you if you yeah. got the grades. That's crazy. I always be I'll be so mad at uh playing that player Phoebus. Mm -hmm. Like he is so good to me. I don't know why I mean he's just so athletic, he don't care about no, he's mm -hmm. gonna go at you, whoever you are. But I heard his grades were bad. And I think it's uh two point five is like that's like the average for an athlete that exactly. you want them to have General. because you don't have to score because you know your SAT or ACT mm -hmm. got an equivalent to that to exactly. qualify for the school. Mm. So how'd y'all pick your name? Did you pick Tank Athletic? I, I that was all him. <laughs> I just kind of came into the business. I know I told you before like Tank don't know no don't know no athletes out here. <laughs> 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 but trying to get some media for this thing. So how how you feel working with Tech Apps when it's been going for you? I like it. I mean, it's fun. Um, just going out there helping out the kids. Like, how do you how do you uh, what's your process in making a mixtape? Do you do you uh, go and try to follow the the good kids, or you try to get people to book you? We kind of prioritize like the people who book us, and mm -hmm. then kind of film with good kids as well. Like, <laughs> yeah. so, and then like we'll film the kids he's trained. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. To um, we'll focus on them, and then uh, the kids who pay, and then the better kids. How who who are some of the kids that Frank been uh, training? Uh, I know Sam is one of them. Sam Brennan, Caleb Brown. Um, Marcus Scott, uh, kid from Any River. Um, I think Kat, he trained Kenny Hodges a little bit. Did he train Cam like before? He trained I, Cam a little bit. I felt um, like in the beginning he did. We when he was like a freshman or still. Yeah, like before school. his freshman year, um, mm -hmm. trained him a little bit, and we were focusing on him some before mm -hmm. he left. Yeah, before he left, and then. That was when I had like no idea what I was doing, and <laughs> I wasn't starting to film any film him until like he touched the ball, and I was just late on everything. Um, so yeah, because you got the DSLR camera, like me, yeah. right? Yeah, it, it get tricky. Like I've had my camera for 
<laughs> so it was probably about 2012. Never used it, ever. And then I started filming. I don't know what made me start filming. I graduated college. I was like, man, I really wanted to start film. I would have told mm -hmm. I really wanted to start film, just filming them, trying to see, trying to get them in school, yeah. see what I could do to help. And I ain't know, I ain't know people do that out here. And then yeah, I start I seeing Andrew, and then the make play stuff. I guess I start like actually seeing it everywhere. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, dang. And it's crazy because I didn't see nobody doing it at first yeah. either until <laughs> I started doing it. And then that's when I saw Drew uh, uh, make play stuff as well. Mm -hmm. But I didn't even know. The, I just assumed that I was the first person doing it right here. I didn't know about it. Uh -huh. And then once I started getting into it, I started seeing a lot of their stuff on Twitter and then yeah, seeing it on Instagram. Yeah, but they, they came at a, a good time because it was a lot, a lot of tough kids. A lot. A it's lot a struggle to too. find somebody now. Now, I mean... See, that's what I'm doing now. Like right now, you know, I've been, you know, I'm gonna get the bag. I'm gonna record as many exactly. kids as I want to, but they don't go on my page no more. Exactly. I think I'm gonna just make my page for the elite players. Mm -hmm. That's in the seven five yeah. seven area. Like I, I, I'll, I'll send it to you. Yeah, I'm sending it. But I'm not gonna post it. Though. <laughs> Unless you drop somebody, I might post that. Exactly. But I ain't gonna post your whole tape. I no absolutely agree. <laughs> I'm definitely down with that because I don't. I don't want to water down my content like yeah. just because people are reaching out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it'll be people that hit you up. You they'll pay you to come out to the game. You get two plays of them. Yeah. Dude, like what I'm supposed to do with that? Minute, a minute and four. Exactly. What I'm supposed to do with that? It's gonna be a whole bunch of just shots of their face. I made a whole mixtape. The kid ain't scored. Are you serious? Ain't scored. I think I have two. One kid he ain't scored. I mean they was younger. They was like yeah. uh, middle school. Probably not even middle school. But the kid ain't score, but it was AAU, so you know how the AAU parents are. Mm -hmm. The kid ain't score, and then it was, I think he did, he hit a free throw. And see, what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but, and then the other kid, he was doing, he had good passes and downs mm -hmm. and hustle plays, but he still ain't score. Exactly. He, like, he was blowing layups. Yeah. And, and you I want me to post that? <laughs> no, I can't do that. <laughs> So how how is y'all dealing with parents or dealing with kids? Which is worse, dealing with parents or kids? Man, I honestly, it's a little bit of both for real. It just depends on the parent, but um, for the kids, like it's like they they won't they won't they didn't have no proper home training. I don't know what it is, cause like I just feel like it's just like they don't have no coof. Like I feel like if you're asking me to do something for you, mm -hmm. you need to ask like I'm helping you, mm -hmm. not like, you know, I need you. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It'll be people hit me up and they'll DM in my DM they'll just be like, yo. Yeah. What, yeah. what you what you mean, yo? Or it's like mixtape question mark. Yeah, <laughs> like, or, or it'll be like that? or they'll message and be like, You got me? Like yeah. and then it'll be, sometimes it'll be kids like they won't even have no profile picture. I don't even know who you are. Yeah. That's like what do you mean? Me. How am I supposed to do something for you? I don't know who you are. I don't know nothing about y'all. I don't know what school you play for. And then for uh, the people that I do know, it's like when they hit me, if you're not going to come to me correct, I'm, either, I'm probably not even going to respond, mm -hmm. depending on who the person is. But if you're going to ask for something, you got to ask for it the right way. I feel like the, the one person that always asked proper to me was Ashley James and Antoinette. You know, they was playing for the loaded and I mm -hmm. talked to them like in person. I was like, yo, don't ask me like that because I ain't gonna want to do it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I know I'll, I'll never make y'all pay for nothing because y'all the best exactly. for my players in the area, but ask me nicely. Bro. Exactly. I know you got manners. Exactly. <laughs> and for me, uh, it was Antoine Epps, Chase. Yeah, Chase and I want to just say just them two, but they will always hit me up, you know, hey, how you doing? Want to see if you can blah, 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 you know? Mm -hmm. But, like, can you say hello first? <laughs> like, at the very least, say hello. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then ask, like, the right way. Like, you got some sense. But then it'd be the ones they ask all crazy, like, yo, mixtape, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then when they see me on the baseline, walk by me. Is <laughs> no, I'm weak because that's the part that really irritates me too. Is it? And it's always the ones that be blowing you up too. Uh -huh. Like you know Most who I am, person, yeah. you know what I look like, uh -huh. and then you see me right there, and then you just walk right past. Mm -hmm. No hello, how you doing? Don't dap me up. No nothing. Just walk right past. Mm -hmm. no, I, I posted. I posted a video today. Where? Where did you post? Okay. I don't, uh, I don't know. From Southern Jam Fest, Curry Temple one. 
Southern Jazz Yeah, it was Throwback Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm about to say. Golly. I that's, that's when I was standing next to you and I was like, I hope you got them dunks. And you was like, yep. yeah, I missed one. <laughs> <laughs> I always miss one. You can't miss no Kyrie dunks. You seen Kyrie play yet? Mm -hmm. I saw him at the Southern Jam Fest, um, but I was not I was getting paid to film somebody else's game. So I didn't really get to catch that much of his. But That's every I time I heard the crowd, I knew it was because he Look did on the curtain. Yeah, and then slide through the curtain and see what's going on. Yeah. But every time, I knew it was him. Mm -hmm. So what's y'all planning going forward? This uh, upcoming season, what y'all plan? That's crazy. Cause I guess y'all want to share it. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I know we basically kind of like competition, uh -huh. but you know, I, I always show yeah, up. I don't, I I don't really see it that way for real, for real. You know, I feel like we all going to eat regardless. You know, mm -hmm. it's a lot going on around here. And even if you at the same event as somebody, like your vision is different from my vision. Mm -hmm. So what you choose to do with your footage and how you, you know, cook your stuff up is going to be different from how I do mine. So I just feel like it ain't nothing wrong with just supporting everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but I don't even know about this year for real. Uh, it's been a couple teams hitting me up, like trying to just get me to follow their team. Yeah, man. Um, I, I, I had fun doing it. I still got three more episodes I got to post. I, see, I and see, that. I feel like I would prefer that because I feel like the money would be more consistent that way because mm -hmm. then I'll just be getting paid by just that one team to follow just that team. Because um, doing the individuals, it's a hit or miss whether or not you're going to make money. Yeah, yeah. I've tried to follow more last year. And last time, they both went to San Jose, but they both ain't coaches ain't hit me back. Oh, for real? Yeah, and I know both of their coaches, but they coaches, I guess, won't, uh, not, I want not say they was interested, they just didn't want their kids to lose focus. Okay. Yeah. And see, I was thinking about doing more, because my little cousin, uh, they play for more right now, so, um. If I was going to cover any team full-time, like just that team, it would more likely be them. And then uh, Coach Johnson from Grassfield, um, I might possibly do some work with them as well. Um, I'm just going to really just see how it go. Uh, all the, like the uh, Kings Fork, they just way too far from me. But they got a <laughs> solid team, though. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then uh, it's a lot of good girls in the area, too. Princess Anne is going to be incredible, as usual. Uh -huh. uh, they got Isaiah. And like she's one of my favorite players, male or female in this area. I definitely say that she's my favorite player. That's one of right my now. girls. I gotta go see some girls. Too. Yeah, you got. And it. I didn't film Nor Norview last year at all. For real? I gotta go see them. And yeah, they're pretty good because they only lost like one player, so they basically yeah. still have their same mm -hmm. exact team. So they definitely gonna be good this and year. And then Kings Fort coach hit me up. They want me to do what I'm doing for uh, Churchland mm -hmm. and what's the name? And I was like, I work in Portsmouth, but I'm like, bro. That's, That's a lot. Drive. Exactly. It's a lot. It's Trying a, to get out there. Right. But I, I'm thinking about doing like another series, but also, you know, filming games like I've been doing. And then doing like every episode, I'm going to focus on somebody, a different team mm -hmm. or a different player. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want to try to get into a little more of like the storytelling, like behind the mm -hmm. scenes type thing. Um, I feel like more people watch it. Exactly. Yeah. And that's. I I originally got into it from that like like I was saying I was watching the home team hoops and it was like the uh, series that he did on Corey Saunders mm -hmm. um, so when I started doing it that's kind of what I wanted to go into more of like the behind the scenes story storytelling part but then somehow I kind of got drifted away and started doing the mixtapes yeah I know cuz you you had the uh, one joint with Travis mm-hmm yeah that yeah, you should have kept doing it. And you had one with, I feel like, a football player that was in the room. Uh, I was about to do one with Jaquan Yuli, mm -hmm. and I was doing one with Beckett. But it was just like our schedules, they was never working out. Like when they would hit me up to do something, I had already committed to something else or mm -hmm. I was working. So I was never able to like really like get into it, like get to doing them. And then they was about to do one together. But then that was like towards the end of the school year and they was both about to go off to college. So that didn't end up working out either. Mm -hmm. Well, how about you? What, what's your plan for next year? Uh, probably just pretty much the same thing. Um, maybe try to catch a couple of girls games. Um, do those two girls we have at Oscar Smith Middle. Go film them. Um, maybe try to get Princess Anne. Yeah, um, I, gotta, I gotta get Princess Anne. Yeah. And they got a new girl too. She she's good. She, yeah. She's coming in freshman. She's solid. And then still just kind of have people you know pay for us come to their games, and mm -hmm. then we're also gonna get into the YouTube kind of like you do with posting mm -hmm. like the full game highlights. Yeah, I feel like the YouTube. I feel like it is good because 
all the kids that you don't film got they film. You know exactly. Yeah, you don't have screen to like record it themselves. Exactly. Screen record. I love screen record. I was so happy when screen record came out. I was like, yo. Every time some kid hit me up, hey, yo, can you send me that layup? Yeah. Screen record. Exactly. You want me to send you one <laughs> yeah. play? I was like, they don't understand that. I'm spending first. I got to drive to the game. Exactly. Depending on where it's at, that's money out of my pocket. Then I got to film the game. That's time. What's about an hour and a half? Yep. So what? That's two hours right there. Now I got to go back home, watch the game. That's oh, what really? another hour. <laughs> <laughs> watch the game and then edit it. That might probably take the longest because exactly. you're trying to edit every little thing. Yeah. They don't understand all that. And that's after we get off our regular job. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like my better. I feel like they feel like that's the only thing that we doing. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I'm a full time student. Uh, thankfully, I'm about to graduate. <laughs> but uh, I'm full time student. I still have a regular job, and then I do the videos too. But like they don't understand. Like that's a lot on my plate alone mm -hmm. without doing the videos and doing that. That's just extra. But it's time consuming. It's not like it's an easy, like simple thing to do. Where you could just you know go home two hours and then just get it done yeah. like it's not that simple how you prioritize it <laughs> get home from work relax a little bit and then try to work on it before i go to bed i mean it'd be night time yep. go to sleep me too yep. <laughs> like i really be breaking day and just going back to work and i'll be like fuck and my job i can't bring my phone or i can't bring like no computer inside oh my, my job so I be like going from the earth for 12 exactly. hours. I don't yeah. know what's happening. And then I just come out and I just know what I got to do. Yeah. yeah, I be doing my work at work sometimes. I ain't even going to win. <laughs> I be bringing my laptop every now and then. Mm. Yeah, that ain't be hard though. It is. How you think? Uh, it's been a lot more videographers coming out in the 757. How y'all been? Have y'all been taking notice of that? Uh, I know it's one dude I seen doing football. Mm -hmm. I don't know his name, but... Yeah, I think it's recruit mixtapes. I don't know yeah, like who the person mixes. behind it is. Um, but yeah, I've seen I, I've seen some of his work. It's it's good. Yeah, uh, I've noticed a few, but I don't know who they are. Yeah, that's what I I feel like a lot of people be coming. They come for a year, see how mm -hmm. hard it is, yeah. but then stop doing it because exactly. the money not coming in, and they trying to make that they only job. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I wish views with jobs. That would be great. That would be nice. Today. Yeah, it definitely can't be my primary source of income. You know, I appreciate the little additional, but it definitely couldn't be my primary, not yeah. right now. So, would y'all ever go to a, a bigger brand and work for them? I, I know you're still in college right now. Yeah. You graduated. So, how would y'all do that? If, if a bigger company came to you and was like, hey, I want you to work for me. Um, for me, honestly, it would depend on what the money looking like, to Same be there. honest with you. Like, if I feel like if it's going to be worth my time, I'll definitely do it. I kind of prefer to like do my own work. Like I don't want nobody like kind of clocking me for real, mm -hmm. especially when this is something that I'm just doing in my free time. Um, but if they're gonna pay me good, I'll definitely be interested in it. Same here. It would probably depend on the money and maybe like how much freedom I would have. Yeah. So that's how I am. I just don't want nobody to be like, "Hey, this video gotta be out." Exactly. Yeah. What? Exactly. Yeah, I don't like deadlines. <laughs> And then also, I feel like it would depend on the event, um, mm -hmm. because if it can get me into some doors that I wouldn't have been able to get into myself, I would definitely be interested in that because, you know, some of the bigger events, like out of state and stuff, like my name don't really hold as much weight to them. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's hard to like get uh, credentials for those kind of games. But so if they ain't going to have me doing some big stuff like that'll, you know, help me, you know, further myself, I would be willing to do it in that case. Yeah. too. What about working for uh, like a college or school? I've been thinking about that too. I've because been. Because I know colleges, you could just focus. They don't really. They're not really time consuming mm -hmm. like the social media. But uh, that would be your only job. Exactly. And I've been talking a little bit uh, with Norfolk State about possibly doing something with them. Um, I'm not really hundred percent sure yet because I I uh, I'm still I'm enjoying doing the high school stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I like the college, but I kind of like to do the college when I'm free. I don't necessarily know if I want that to be my primary right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would do college. 
mean, I tried doing some ODU, an ODU game last year. I want to do some more this year. Mm -hmm. um, it really just kind of depends on the schedule. Yeah. yeah. I like I like doing I I like doing going to the ODU games. I'm surprised you haven't like gone overseas or something like. With I I want to one day, but I don't even have a passport. So <laughs> <laughs> make him pay for it. It's his company. Maybe one day. That's that's the best. I, I tried to uh I know Denzel I don't know y'all know Denzel. Uh he went to Kensville, played at JMU. But uh he oversees that's one of the homies. Um that's his clock right there actually. He gave me that it's not like, But um he he played over he been playing overseas. He probably one of the top overseas players from the seven five seven. But I think one I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go over there one one year with him. I think that would be nice. Yeah. Because do the storytelling type. Exactly. That would be definitely nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get him on a, on a podcast, but he always gone. Mm -hmm. Always gone. And that would be nice just showing a different side because everybody, NBA, NBA, NBA. But it's other stuff out there. If you want to continue playing the game, there's other avenues that you can go down other than just trying to shoot for the NBA. Mm -hmm. That's why I'll be, be trying to tell. That's why me and my friend Darius, uh, y'all know, y'all you know Darius, right? Yeah. But he, he went to ODU. And he declined to play overseas mm -hmm. to stay. He got his master's, so he got two degrees. Exactly. And then right after he graduated, he got a job in sports athletics for college. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, take advantage of this exactly. basketball. Yeah. But exactly, especially when you're you getting that free education. Mm -hmm. So why why didn't you try to play for Nova State? Huh? Nova State. I'm gonna keep it a stat. I feel like I'm good enough to play for Nova State. To be honest with you, know my my, my shot pretty solid. Uh -huh. Um, but I don't know. It just wasn't like I said. Like I kind of I don't want to say I lost a passion for it, but I lost that like competitive edge for it. Like yeah, I go to the Y, go play. Like I go hoop with people, but I'm not really like into like playing playing no more. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't want to be getting dusted off out here. You know, my knee's bad. I don't really know if that's for me. How's uh? What I'm about to ask. Oh, did you um? Uh, did you focus? What was your focus in college? Was it is it sports media? Mm -mm. And people ask me that all the time. My major is uh psychology. Um, mm -hmm. I plan on getting my doctorate degree in psychology. What are you um, working on right now? Your bachelor, master's. Bachelor. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'll be graduating in May. We trying to stay in school for too long. Mm -mm. Yeah, it, it's really it's not that well. It's it's a lot. <laughs> How old are you? Huh? How old are you? Twenty five. Okay. I got. I, it'll be four years before I get my master's. Um, but I'll still be able to do stuff with the bachelor's, mm -hmm. and then with the doctorate program, um, you get your master's along the way. So each level, it just opened up a look, couple more doors for you, and then once you get the doctorate, you good. I was like, it don't really make sense for me to major in mass com or mm -hmm. nothing like that when I can do this stuff without having that degree. Yeah, so I was like, I, I want to make myself more marketable to do other things. So yeah. I was like, I get a degree in psychology, you know, focus on that. And then if the stuff with like the media continues to grow, then that's just an addition to what I'm already doing. How are you? What did you study in uh, I did sport management and did minor management. Supposed to be managing Frank. What? <laughs> you are dropping the ball, man. I, what's wrong with you? I don't know, man. You're supposed to be getting Frank, and then you could have had this. Come on, man. You could be having. That's like you doing sports management. All these kids want to. You know, all these kids yeah. want to go to play basketball exactly. for life. That's kind of one one thing I like. Mm -hmm. I've had an idea of kind of like. There's so many athletes who come out of this area. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised there's not like a sports agency. Just for seven five seven athletes. If it's, it's some, but they don't make. I don't think they. I know it's one of them because my friend works for them, but they don't make it as prominent as they should. Or they not like on social media. Yeah. Because yeah. like I feel like, yeah, especially yeah. with us filming, we should have heard about it. That's the I only know reason I put. It. That's the only reason I get made the socks because I'm filming them. It's like I could film them, and they got my socks on. Exactly. You know, you got to try to get the devil with me. Exactly. Alright, you ain't pay for the mixtape, but you pay for the socks. Exactly. You know what I'm so either I'm gonna get mine one way or another. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I kind of want to go back to school too, maybe for like the cinematography, so I can kind of. That's what I would want to do too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of like get better at editing and figure out more stuff to it, because like right now I'm just completely learning on the fly and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm doing. Um, so you never picked up a camera before? Ever. No, not before like a few years ago. 
like everything I do, I'm like learning as you go. Learning from watching your videos or Andrew's videos or uh, Nick's videos or mm -hmm. just you know slam videos, just everyone's videos. I'm just looking at that stuff, trying to figure out you know how they do that or. You know, can I do that with what I'm using? Yeah, so. I, I YouTube everything. That's exactly what I do. When I <laughs> YouTube go, University is yep. the best school yep. in the world. Absolutely. Whenever I have a vision and I think I want to try something, I just type that thing in and you just see what come up. Yeah. YouTube is like the best. That's why I feel like. I feel like I went to school. I mean, all I'm doing is paying school loans. Like, exactly. I don't even use my degree. I, I, uh, got a, I did communications in, mm -hmm. in uh, college, but what I work, where I work at, I work for the government, like fixing ships. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I got nothing to do exactly. with yeah. what I'm doing, but I'm trying to get there. But like, I don't want to work for the government my whole life. Mm -hmm. I want to work for myself. I exactly. want to wake up when I want to. So that's why I want to go to, I'm thinking about trying to get into the Regent Master's program and doing the film and stuff. But yeah. I definitely want to learn more about the cameras and all of that, and what exactly. type of camera yeah. I need, and cinematography as much as possible. But I did study at ODU, but it did, I didn't learn nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I learned nothing. When I was there, they didn't have, like, they film program was trash. Mm -hmm. Like, I got A's in every class, and I was like, I gave me A for <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, but it was cool. It was cool. But... That's crazy that you just never picked up a camera. Never picked up a camera. See, I never picked up a camera, but me and my friend, we used to make, like, funny videos. Uh -huh. Like, this before, like, this is, like, MySpace. Funny videos, and then we used to just post them. I used to just try to edit them. And then I used to edit my highlight videos to try to, and all my See, teammates I mean, and try to get a column. So that was my thing. And then I stopped completely. Then I started making music videos for all my aspiring rap friends. <laughs> <laughs> and then... They all wanted the same video. They all wanted all their friends in the back with the gun yep. out. And I was Every just like, video. really, bro? And that, I was like, didn't you just make that last video? <laughs> like, bro. I'm like, yeah. So I stopped doing that. And then I was like, all right, I'm going to get back into it. What what field does that go to? Like, what job do you get with that? Um, so for the degree, the for the doctorate degree that I plan on getting, um, it's three avenues that I can go down. So I could do uh, research um, in psychology. I could be uh, I could teach, so I could be a professor, and then I also could practice psychology, like uh, clinical psychology, like actually like counseling patients. So either three of those, and I can do them simultaneously. Uh, so you that's, stay on campus. Uh, that's yeah, too much money. Yeah, that's too much money. You stayed on campus over the year? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me either. Yeah. I stayed at my girl career the whole time. Yeah, that's too much. <laughs> that's way too much. I was like, you can pay, y'all. I stayed yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's crazy. Um, so what's the overall goal goal with your media? What like if like your number one job in media, if you could do anything, what what would y'all try to get there? That's a good question. And see, I actually, I really am interested in like doing stuff at the collegiate level. But, um, you know, it's nothing wrong with the schools around here, but I definitely would want to be at like a bigger school. Um, I did a visit. It was for football, though. But um, I went to Tennessee and just like seeing their facility and, you know, their media rooms and all that stuff. I was like, that's definitely something that I want to get into. Um, it's definitely going to be more money in it. And then just get me a lot more experience. So, like a bigger school, like a Tennessee or like a Duke or North Carolina, I would love to do work in one of those schools. How about you? Kind of the same thing, like look into maybe go work for a school, maybe like start a smaller school and then kind of go up to like the bigger schools. See, I, I interned at ODU when I was there and they do not pay what we do. I don't know what it is. They want a lot from what we do, uh -huh. but they don't pay a lot. Like... That's why I don't know. I don't know if you ever looked at like the jobs that they had. Mm -hmm. They'd be like forty thousand dollars stuff like that. But it seemed good, depending on where you live at. Mm -hmm. But you ain't just gonna be doing basketball. Exactly. You're gonna be doing basketball, soccer. I think it's basketball. What? What's the winter sports? Basketball. You gonna do basketball, football, soccer, field hockey. So uh, everything. It, yeah, it's like five, like I did like seven sports, mm -hmm. and I was working for free, and they wanted me there every day. 
That's it. And that's why a lot of those <laughs> colleges are outsourcing now because I'm pretty sure like his other avenues, like you could try to get a work study student to do mm -hmm. it or whatever. But it seems like what well, it needs to seem like to me, especially like for Norfolk State, like they're trying to find like outside people that like that's their primary. They already know what they're mm -hmm. doing, not somebody that's trying to learn what they're doing. Mm -hmm. um, because like with, as big as social media is now. Like it's important for it no matter what kind of program That's you have, saying, yeah. you have to be on social media. Yeah. Like it no matter what it is, AAU, college, whatever, because that's how people are gonna see you. Mm -hmm. You know, if people can't make it to your games or whatever the case may be, if you posting stuff on Instagram, you know, and kids love the exposure. Yeah. So, you know, if you put a video up of them, they gonna love you regardless. Do you do they like the exposure or do they like the clout? I think it's, it's more a clout. Yeah, really it is. It's definitely the clout. I, that ball, that bothers me so much. That's what makes me always be changing my lanes. And mm -hmm. stuff that, but how, how can you tell if they want it for clout or exposure? When they message from the bus. <laughs> yep. You it, ain't even home yet. Exactly. Yeah. I haven't even walked out of the door for the game. You just got in the locker room and you done already slid in my head. Yeah. Someone texted me like that before. I'm not I'm I was at the I was at the um taking a picture of the score. Mm hmm And I got a text. I was like, yo, the game just got Like yeah, how did you even get to your yeah. phone that fast? Is what I, I wish my know. coach would let me get to my phone. Absolutely not. Mm. <sighs> yeah, it is a lot for the uh for the clout now. How how do you uh like when you doing something for free, how do you do you do you do videos for people for clout or do you do them for exposure? Um, I'm gonna be honest, it depends on the person because at the end of the day, you know, it's a business. Uh -huh. You know, and you know it sounds like kinda harsh to say, but everybody uses somebody for whatever reason. So, uh -huh. you know, they want us to make their videos, they using us so they can show all their peoples and get views and you know, just so everybody can see them. So if I'm gonna be posting it on my end, for me, it's gonna be for the clout as well. Mm -hmm. Like, if I post a video of this particular kid, I know I'm gonna get more views off of it uh -huh. rather than filming another kid or posting a video of a different kid. So, you know, the same way that they using us, you know, to get their outcome, gotta be the same way um, on the other end. Like, if I'm gonna post it, I'm gonna try to post something that's gonna be beneficial for me, uh -huh. and then it could also benefit you. Yeah, yeah. So what would you do? Would you, uh, you could go watch Oak Hill play for free, but you got to drive like 40 minutes, mm -hmm. but you gonna, you gonna be able to get in that building yeah. and baseline footage, or you gonna record the kid from the 757 for $100. That's, I'm, <laughs> I'm going with the money on that yeah. one for sure. Cause you're gonna spend more money driving all the way out to Oak Hill. Which but you is gonna like, get them views, yeah, you, you might gonna get, get the exposure for sure. You can get the exposure and the views, but that's like a seven hour drive <laughs> where you're gonna 20, 30 minutes and you get a hundred dollars. Exactly, like, yeah. I mean, it, it would be a nice experience, yeah. but at the end of the day, you know, it still gotta benefit me. And in that case, I would choose the monetary benefit over the views that I would get from it. Yeah. And then I try, like, um, I try to make sure that I'm like looking out for my people. Like I kind of feel that's, like that's you know the people in the seven five seven yeah. and eight zero four two. Um, but I feel like I'm more passionate about making sure the people around here eating rather than like going elsewhere to like uh, film. Yeah, that's 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 basically my goal. I want the people where I live, the people that I can see. I want them to go to school versus. Well, I don't. I mean, I'm not gonna say versus, but I don't really focus on like. The North Carolina, the mm -hmm. that I mean, I'm sure they got videographers out there, yeah. you know, like staying. Uh, I've talked to him a lot, but yeah, but like that kid at Oak Hill, he's definitely going somewhere, like going, yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, so, yeah, 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 that's that's a fact. Yeah, they don't need your help yeah. as much as the kids around here do, yeah. and I'm gonna be honest, like, even though, like, even, um, like for a lot of the kids around here, our videos really do be helping them because, yeah. um. You know, I, I haven't really seen it so much for like the collegiate level, but I know it's kids that I posted and it'll be AAU coaches that reach out to me like, hey, who is that kid? Like, you know, give them my contact information or whatever. So it's definitely helping people because, you know, a lot of times, like, especially for AAU, 
they go on with the names that they already know, mm -hmm. the people that they already see, and they can't be everywhere because it's a lot of hidden gems that they don't end up seeing mm -hmm. because they only looking for these like certain kids that they already know about, the kids that got the money to go to camps and stuff like that, but everybody don't have that. So mm -hmm. I try to make sure that I'm showing some of the talent that other people not seeing so that way I can help them like get their name out there a little bit more. Yeah, I, I feel you on that. I'm the same, I think, I believe, yeah, I'm the same way. I like the get them hidden jams, but I don't know. I, I, they, Andrew, you know, we even talk, we talk a lot, and they was like, the talent kind of was going down. That's why, you know, they did mm -hmm. the, what they did. You know, they went to the bigger companies. Mm, yeah. It's probably beneficial for them, you know, whatever they route is as a media. But I don't know. I just feel like I like to stay home and do the seven five seven yeah. all the way. Yeah, I can definitely. Even you know, even when A hey, you come out here, I don't be recording nobody but the seven five seven mm -hmm. people. Well, I'm gonna record who pay me first because A hey, you been about so much money lately. Exactly. I don't know why, but I'm give who pay me first, and then if I got time. And I, I'm it's the same. Seventeen. Exactly, it's the same thing for me. And it's crazy. It's a shame, but for me, like as of lately, it's easier for me to get people that are not from here to pay me than it is for the people in the seven five seven to pay me. Like I've been doing work with a guy in uh, North Carolina, um, and like he's more willing to pay mm -hmm. than the people that's around here. And it's a shame that somebody else that's like not even Seems in my home, benefit. yeah, is mm -hmm. appreciating my work. When the people around here, it's just nothing. And I don't, I don't, I don't want to bash nobody. You know, that's not my thing. But, like, that was a big issue when I was doing a lot of work for Boo. Mm -hmm. Like, I was doing work for them for about two years solid. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Won't nobody paying me nothing. I was paying to get in the games on my own. <laughs> they won't even making sure I had something to eat. So, I'm coming to the game, uh -huh. filming for y'all. I paid like twenty dollars to get in here, and you're driving from Norfolk. And I'm driving from Norfolk. That's gonna be crazy. Exactly, twenty dollars <laughs> to get in the game. Boo, about ten, fifteen dollars, uh -huh. and you ain't kick off no bread for nothing. But I, I'm helping you and your kids out. But then you're not helping me out on the same cuff. So it's just, it's a shame. And then I, it's other programs that's not around here. Pay me. Four hundred dollars, and he paying for my hotel and for my gas to get to the event. Mm -hmm. But y'all can't, you can't even give me a meal. <laughs> I can't get no chicken tenders, no nothing. You should at least get. That's the only thing I don't like about Boo is that they don't got like someone that's controlling like media. Exactly, yeah, they the need a media director. Because I, I get invites to go to their stuff all the time, like camps, whatever, uh, camps, the AU joints, and the only thing that. I get it for free. It's Southern Jazz Fest. Exactly. Everything else, when it's a I got to pay. It's not so I, every, if I, every time I go there and I got a film, I be like, yeah, I don't mind coming, but somebody, uh, you got to pay for yeah. my entry fee because I ain't paying for it. Yeah, no, nah, I don't do that no more. <laughs> like, in the beginning, I was paying to get into all these events and stuff, but I'm at the point now, like, if you want my services, you're going to be willing to pay for it. Yeah, and I'm not right. about to come pay for a $20 game mm -hmm. and then... Most of the time, you don't end up doing nothing for real, for real. <laughs> so then I paid, drove here, paid to get in the game, and I don't have nothing. Like, what did, what did I get from it? You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Yeah, I hate that. It's yeah. crazy. Um, so, do y'all do y'all like the film AAU more or high school basketball? High school. You like high school better? Yeah. Wow. It, you can get more games in... Like AAU, you can get more games in a shorter period of time, uh -huh. but there's not much going on other than kind of like smaller events um, at, up at Boo Williams. Uh -huh. So, I mean, other than Southern Jam Fest and then whenever Nike comes, yeah. if they come, <laughs> yeah. then yeah. that's it. Yeah. Other than like the smaller stuff. And then like high school, there's so many schools around here, like we can do two to four games a week, yeah. no problem. And it ain't, you ain't there all yeah. day. Exactly. <laughs> See, that's what I don't like about AAU, but I'm a, honestly, I would say I would prefer to film AAU ball because it's like, when I film in high school ball, especially like in the area now, I'll go to a game and it's probably only going to be like one kid that I can get a mixtape off of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it's only going to be like one kid that's performing to the point where they'll want a mixtape or one that I want to make it for. And then, like, for AAU, it's more like the teams are more stacked. So, 
it'll be a team and I'll maybe be able to make a mixtape for four of the people on yeah, the team, yeah. whereas high school, probably only one. I just hate being there all day. It, it's, a, it's a struggle. Yeah. It's a struggle. I just hate being there all day. Like, Southern Jam Fest, I could tell, like, we were, every single <laughs> cater person there just looked tired, yep. drained. And, and that's why you would think that they would be a little more willing to like either kick off some bread or ask me do I want some water, a yeah. Gatorade, or anything I, even after at, I've been sitting here all day. Even at uh, Matt Hep Hatfield events or Jamal Hawkins events, they be like, yo, so you want some drink? You want some yeah. drink? Or go to the media room, give me some, you want some food? Even mm -hmm. when I went to the Iverson joint, yo, go to the media room, we'll get some food. All yeah. of them been looking up. But yeah, food is crazy. But I don't think it's him. Yeah, like, it's not, it's not him. Because he don't, he probably don't know. But it's like, oh lord, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they they, they the, they've been asking me to do stuff with them, but they think I'm Team Adidas so uh -huh. much because I've been doing work with them. But I've been like, yo, they paying me to travel with exactly. them. Exactly, like, and it's a I'm, shame. I'm not gonna take that. I've never been to Vegas before. Exactly. They paid a parent on the team paid for me to go to Vegas. Exactly. You think I'm not gonna it's go? the it's the opportunities <laughs> that it, that the other people be provided. It's like um, like when I was doing uh, my work for Boo, you know, I was just doing like straight Boo. I won't really focus on no, no other AAU teams. Mm -hmm. Um. And then recently, you know, the Under Armour team is here now, so um, I've been uh, doing stuff with them. And it's like soon as like they posted something about me working with them, like coaches from Boo was hitting me up, or like you don't mess with us no more. And I'm at the end of the day, I'm gonna go where I feel like I'm appreciated. And by me working with like some of the coaches at Boo for that long, and won't nobody kicking off no bread, won't nobody doing nothing. All I was getting is a thank you at that point. Like, I'm going to go to wherever I feel like I'm going to get appreciated. Mm -hmm. And I was getting more love from over there than I was getting from Boo. But I'm not, like, just for one person. Like, at the end of the day, we all supposed to be trying to help the kids. I don't yeah. care about no Nike, no Adidas, no Under Armour, whatever. Uh -huh. It's about the kids at the end of the day. So, wherever I'm going to go, you know, if, if you paying me and then I'm just helping the kids out, like, that's what it's about. It's not, oh, Nike this, Under yeah. Armour that. Yeah, and I'll be, be telling them, I'll be like... Y'all don't always play on the same weekend. Yeah. I could go with y'all exactly. the weekend, then I could go with them. Yeah. But I ain't paying to go nowhere. It's as simple as so that. So you pay me to go. I'm down, bro. Yeah. I'm It'd down. be so much beef between <laughs> the coaches, and that's what the real issue be. Again, it's supposed mm -hmm. to be about the kids, but there's so many hidden agendas and our coaches from Adidas don't like the coaches from Boo and then coaches from Boo don't like the coaches from Under Armour. Like at the end of the day, like we all trying to help the kids at the end of the day. They be getting the bag, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I be knowing, but I mean, I ain't got no problem with do your thing, but at least if you get your kids in school, that's all that matters. Exactly. Right? It's as simple matters. as it. Mm. So who who y'all what kids are y'all focusing on this upcoming season, like main kids? Um well, again, I say I'm probably going to try to, like, just do more primarily, um, more or oh, Grassfield. Ain't got nobody but your, but your family. Yeah, I mean, that's true. <laughs> no, I mean, they have a, uh, I think it, it's one temporary. Are they playing, like, uh, Fall League against that? Because I've never seen them. They, uh, they, they only, no, nah, I don't think, don't like either. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they're doing Fall League. And I, they're going to be okay. They're not going to be that good. But, again, it's more of a storytelling part. Uh -huh. You know, they're in a phase of rebuilding right now. Um... I can't believe Clarence left. Exactly. That when, was crazy. When I was here behind the scenes, uh, Chase was telling me that they were about to get stacked and then none of it happened. Yeah, and I see. I thought that was going to be the case too because it was a couple players thinking about transferring to mm -hmm. more um, you and Granby. Exactly. And like, what? Exactly. But as soon <laughs> but they, they started going to other schools, Clarence left, and then now they just like trying to rebuild with the couple of people that they had that's still mm -hmm. there and then a couple of the people coming up from JV and they got some pretty good kids coming up from JV um Memphis I mean always gonna be good. yeah they, I don't they know play about harder them. exactly play harder. yeah I don't know about no title run or nothing like yeah. that but I definitely think they're gonna have an okay season but as far as like individual players I'm gonna be honest with you right now it'll probably just be Isaiah um because all the like guys, their schools are too far away for me to be able to get to. Uh -huh. So exactly. So probably just some uh, PA games, and then just like whoever hit me up. What about you? 
Uh, whoever hits us up, and then maybe like maybe like Carl Chavis or yeah, and, like and probably like Jordan Battle. Mm. They're probably like the two main seniors mm. in that area right now. Yeah. And then maybe like maybe some underrated seniors. You try to do something for them, help them yeah. out. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, I I, uh, I talked to Twin. He, he said he got some people over at Catholic. He got. Some weapons that nobody ever seen before. Just like Keenan, like Keenan. I was about to say, they be getting these foreign kids. <laughs> yeah. They be coming out of nowhere. But, but they be good, from, though. Like, Africa or something like that. For real. And they definitely like um, Caleb Brown, who mm -hmm. trains with Frank, and Sam Brennan, who trains with Where, Frank. Where's uh, Caleb going to now? Is he still at NSA? NSA. He's still there. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Well, I appreciate y'all coming, man. No, thank you for having uh, us. Man. Thank you. Appreciate it. <sighs> Episode four, season two. Beyond the ball, tank athletics. Out. Oh.